to the LB is showing you all how to connect a battery capacitor discharge tester this is the unit I purchased it from Amazon which I'll leave a link in the description below if you buy one of the items in the link from me I'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you this is the unit this is the original battery capacitor tester um, it takes 5 volts this is the input here if you notice at the back it has in plus and minus and the R is for the resistors it also comes with these two resistors which you have to hook up to the unit to discharge your battery as I stated earlier the resistors you connect head there isn't any positive and minus for the resistors it would go in anyhow the input from the battery would be here or should I say yes the input plus and minus I think you can see that and you put in a 5 volts here it's rated uh, from 5 to 12 volts but the easiest way to connect it is with your phone adopter or your phone charger if you're wiring it on a board and you doesn't want to use this you can hardwire it here plus and minus which means you would have to solder it there the way you would connect this meter I rig up a little battery holder you slacken the screws here you look for your plus and minus you put the black in the plus in the minus and you tighten I use an orange wire for the red you put the orange in the plus and you tighten you take your two resistors you put them together and you put well you could use both resistors but for this demonstration I'll just use one and you put your resistors in 
and you tighten. With one resistor, the discharge process would be slower. The other thing, when you doing your connection, make sure that this resistor doesn't touch the wires. The resistor gets very, very hot. And leaving it on the wires, it could melt it. And if you bridge, it could short your wires. Now you take your 5 volt charger and you plug it here. And it reads you get your battery. Since I have a, a free battery holder, you could put it in any one of them. And you have to be very careful how you put it in your battery. If you reverse the polarity, you will burn your unit. So make sure you put in this holder, this is the plus this is the minus make sure you put the battery the right way let me turn this this way now this is volts that's the what is reading on the battery 382 <clears throat> the second one here going up is amps and this one is the amp hours to start the unit these um three buttons here you have ok you have plus and minus you press the minus now since this unit is discharging the 18650s the 18650s is supposed to discharge at 3 volts 3 volts now it already set to 3 volts once you press it automatically it's set to 3 volts if you would like to change it you press the plus and you notice it's going up you want to decrease you press the minus now this little unit isn't only for this battery you could put other batteries in it and charge or, or discharge you have to make sure that the battery is fully charged before you put it on this unit to discharge it once you set everything there isn't much you can do with it it's only to change the the voltage the discharge voltage once everything is ready you press the ok and the unit would start up now if you notice a change in between volts amps and the amperage As a matter of fact, it should be milliamp hours. It would continue like that. The timer would um, count down until the, un the battery is down to the 3 volts.
I will not continue. I just do this video to show the way to hook it up and use it. Just remember the plus and minus that comes from your holder, your battery holder, the resistors. You could put the res connect the resistors any any place. You see R here and R here. You could put it anywhere. And if you use uh, two resistors, it would discharge. If you use both resistors, not two resistors, but both resistors, it would discharge uh, the unit faster. Right now, it's discharging uh, at uh, half an amperage. If you use both of them, it would discharge at one amperage. When you purchase in the unit, if you look at the top, you would see ZB2L3. This is the original unit. The original unit has the ZB2L3 and it also has writing at the back. The fake unit doesn't have no writing at the back. It won't have the Z b 2 l free, but it would have the max 15 volts 3000 amps and 999 milliamps 49 milliamps which is one amp this is all there is to the capacitor discharge tester if you find this video as helpful give the thumbs up subscribe comment and share i'll put a link to this unit in the description so if you purchase from me i'll get a small commission at no extra cost uh, to you this is it until the next one thank you Go, uh, get aside if you ever